Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, I have written to this topic, Dangerous Cracks in Buildings. Uh, you may say that all cracks are dangerous, but there are some cracks which are highly dangerous, or, uh, which can cause structural failure. So basically, uh, we will be talking about the dangerous cracks, that which cracks shall be highly avoided or shall be uh, treated as soon as possible okay so uh, dangerous cracks in buildings uh, basically we have two types of buildings i would like to explain the building types the basic types of buildings that is the frame and the second one is the load bearing okay so in frame structures cracks and partition walls is not up too much uh, danger uh, and those shall be treated um, lately or uh, quickly that depends but in load bearing structures cracks are uh, cracks might get up importance uh, for a reason that in load bearing structure each and every member is under the main gravity and lateral load of any building so in frame structure uh, you might face cracks in uh, partition walls uh, and, and those are not of uh, any danger uh, because the main load would be taken by beams, columns and slabs. So if there are any types of cracks in beams and columns or in slabs, those are uh, those might be of importance but in uh, walls uh, the the load the cracks are not of importance here in frame structures but in load bearing walls each and every type of crack shall be uh, visualized and shall be in inspected so that if that is a danger uh, it might get be uh, it, it might be repaired as soon as possible okay so basically we will be talking about load bearing structures so uh, and load bearing structures normally our houses are load bearing okay so uh, in houses these uh, cracks are of importance so uh, if you would have seen different type of structure uh, you might have seen two different types of cracks like the one that if this is a wall and a crack is moving in horizontal direction it's it's it is due to uh, a reason I, I will be talking about the reason and if this is a wall and a crack is moving and uh, some somewhat like this in 45 degrees or 50 or 60 degrees then these cracks are of high importance these are also of high importance and uh, this can also sometimes show the danger side of structural failure but why does this happen and why does this happen mostly these both can happen because of single simple reason but these type of cracks that is the horizontal cracks can be found in too many structures uh, in too many houses uh, a soon after their construction like after six months after seven months and specifically where the seasonal changes occur that is if you have made a structure in uh, uh, in a cold weather and temperature changes with time you can see this type of cracks the horizontal cracks and 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 those cracks are not of too much danger the reason is because of uh, these cracks occur due to uh, shrinkage due to uh, the shrinkage phenomena mostly due to the shrinkage phenomena okay so this is due to the seasonal effect and this is not of danger and you uh, can see this uh, this type of cracks uh, over the windows the sides of doors and windows uh, are somewhere near the construction giant uh, the the giant up wall and the top slab okay so you can find such cracks at those points and if it is near the walls the doors and the window sides it is up not that much danger because these are the weak points so it's it's not too much dangerous or you can say it is it can be vertical somewhat like this so yes you you shall consider it if uh, the length of uh, uh, the width of these cracks is much more uh, that it, you can even see throughout that or you can see the light throughout so you shall consider it and you shall repair it but if it is horizontal and it is up some millimeter uh, uh, some micrometer then it is not of that danger okay uh, because the uh, weak point is over the windows and over the wall uh, near uh, the sides of 
uh, doors okay so if you can see it uh, there that is not a danger but you shall consider it okay uh, the second type this one uh, this is of too much importance specifically for load bearing structure and this mostly is due to or you can say it is only due to the foundation settlement okay whenever your structure face the problem of foundation settlement it will face the failure in 45 degrees and we call it the shear crack whenever you face this type of uh, crack in your house you shall consider it whether it is bigger whether it is smaller but you shall consider it because you you you, mm, uh, you would have seen the brick walls bricks are used somewhat like this someone like this okay so i am going to make this complete wall okay so if the direction of the uh, crack is somewhat like this okay in this direction i i will just this might be of importance but not that highly important than this crack if it is somewhat like this okay if you are facing this problem why are you considering this is a small problem then this is not the reason is because your foundation has settled somewhat by millimeters and you are facing this problem now uh, this problem can be faced after six months after seven months after a year after four years even uh, and uh, the reason is consolidation consolidation okay consolidation is the phenomena of settling of foundation with time okay one is the compaction you would have heard of this word okay another problem is consolidation so if you your structure is facing all the structure face consolidation but if your structure is facing consolidation uh, and the foundation is not strengthened enough and the walls are not strengthened enough then you can face this shear failure okay now this shear failure might get uh, closer to the failure or it might be it not be that much mild but you shall consider this type of failure okay uh, this was about the dangerous cracks in load bearing structure that is mostly faced in houses these days uh, we are facing this type of issue mostly in our houses uh, and the reason is because we do not compact the structures uh, too much and because of uh, imperfect compaction the structure even uh, gets uh, uh, sorry uh, gets cracked within uh, two months or within a month of its construction and the reason is as i uh, told you the compaction is not perfect but the consolidation phenomena you 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 will face it in all the situations okay but the best thing is if your structures just settles in this manner that all the structure goes down by some millimeter then it's not a problem but if this part goes down and this part remain uh, at the same level then you will face this crack and you will have to cover this crack as soon as possible so this was about uh, the cracks that we uh, sum up uh, the uh, uh, students have asked about the dangerous cracks in buildings i just wanted to explain it for you people that which type of crack is dangerous and which is not i hope you would have learned something please comment your questions so that i may answer it for you throughout the video thank you very much allah Hafiz.